Across the vast expanse of North America, a familiar sight graces gardens, meadows, and riverbanks, the garter snake. These adaptable reptiles can be found in a variety of environments, showcasing their incredible versatility and resilience. These non-venomous serpents known for their characteristic stripes are a common sight, frequently eliciting curiosity and at times, apprehension. Their striking patterns and gentle nature make them a subject of fascination for both scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. Among the various garter snake species, two stand out, the common garter snake and the eastern garter snake. These two species, while sharing many similarities, also have unique traits that make them distinct. While closely related, these two snakes exhibit distinct differences that set them apart. From their coloration to their preferred habitats, each species has adapted in its own way to thrive in its environment. In the tapestry of North American wildlife, the common garter snake and the eastern garter snake play integral roles, their lives intertwined with the ecosystems they inhabit. They contribute to the balance of nature, controlling pest populations and serving as prey for larger animals. Understanding their unique characteristics and ecological significance is paramount to appreciating the biodiversity of our planet. Each scale, each movement tells a story of adaptation and survival. Join me as we delve into the fascinating world of these remarkable reptiles, unraveling the secrets that make them unique. We'll explore their behaviors, their interactions with the environment, and their role in the ecosystem. Our journey takes us from the sun-drenched meadows of California to the humid wetlands of Florida, exploring the diverse habitats where these snakes reside. Each location offers a glimpse into the adaptability and resilience of these creatures. We'll uncover the subtle differences in their appearance, behavior, and ecological adaptations. From their diet to their mating rituals, every aspect of their lives is a testament to their survival skills. Prepare to be captivated by the intricate details that distinguish these two remarkable creatures, revealing the wonders of the natural world. Their stories are a window into the complexity and beauty of life on Earth. The world of these snakes, often hidden from our view, is one of intricate beauty and delicate balance. Their presence is a reminder of the interconnectedness of all living things. Join me as we venture into their realm, shedding light on their fascinating lives and deepening our understanding of the intricate web of life that connects us all. Together, we'll discover the vital role these snakes play in maintaining the health of our ecosystems. To truly differentiate between the common and eastern garter snakes, we must navigate the intricate world of scientific classification. The common garter snake, scientifically known as, represents a species encompassing a diverse array of subspecies. These subspecies scattered across the continent exhibit variations in color, pattern, and size, contributing to the remarkable adaptability of the common garter snake. The eastern garter snake designated holds a unique position within this classification. It represents one of the many subspecies under the umbrella of the common garter snake. This distinction highlights the close evolutionary relationship between the two, emphasizing that the eastern garter snake shares a common ancestor with its widespread relative. Despite their shared lineage, the eastern garter snake possesses distinct characteristics that set it apart from other subspecies. These differences, manifested in its appearance, behavior, and geographic range, underscore the dynamic nature of evolution where subtle variations can lead to the emergence of unique populations. Understanding this taxonomic relationship provides a framework for appreciating the subtle nuances that distinguish these snakes. The Eastern Garter Snake, though classified as a subspecies of the Common Garter Snake, possesses its own unique story to tell, a testament to the power of adaptation and the diversity of life on Earth. The geographical distribution of the common and eastern garter snakes reveals a tale of adaptation and survival across vast and varied landscapes, showcasing their incredible ability to thrive in different environments. The common garter snake, a testament to its adaptability and resilience, boasts a wide range that spans from the Pacific coast of North America all the way to the eastern seaboard, covering an impressive array of habitats. This expansive territory encompasses a variety of habitats, from lush meadows and dense forests to arid deserts and wetlands. This diversity in habitat is a testament to the snake's remarkable resilience and ability to thrive in such varied environments. In contrast, the eastern garter snake occupies a more defined and specialized territory. Its range stretches across the eastern portion of North America, 
encompassing a region rich in dense forests, expansive wetlands, and even urban areas where wildlife can still be found. This eastern stronghold provides the snake with ample opportunities to exploit a variety of prey sources and adapt to human-modified landscapes, showcasing its versatility and adaptability. The eastern garter snake's range overlaps significantly with that of the common garter snake, particularly in the eastern United States, indicating a shared ecological niche. This overlap highlights the close relationship between the two snakes, suggesting a shared evolutionary history in this region and possibly even competition for similar resources. However, the eastern garter snake's more restricted range reflects its specific adaptations to the unique conditions of the eastern environment, making it a specialist in its habitat. Examining their respective ranges reveals a fascinating story of adaptation and survival, showcasing how each species has carved out its own niche in the vast tapestry of North American ecosystems. The common garter snake's expansive distribution underscores its ability to thrive in a wide variety of environments, while the eastern garter snake's more focused range highlights its specialization and adaptation to the specific ecological conditions of eastern North America, illustrating the diverse strategies of survival in the natural world. Section 4. A Palette of Scales Distinguishing between the common and eastern garter snakes often involves a keen eye for detail, as their physical characteristics, while similar, reveal subtle differences. The common garter snake exhibits a remarkable range of colors and patterns, a testament to the diversity within its subspecies. Its dorsal coloration typically ranges from green to brown, often adorned with three longitudinal stripes that can vary in hue from yellow to red. The eastern garter snake, in contrast, typically displays a more consistent appearance. Its dorsal side commonly features a black or dark brown base color, accented by three prominent yellow stripes that run the length of its body. These stripes are often bordered by rows of black spots, creating a visually striking pattern. The belly patterns of these snakes offer further clues for identification. The common garter snake's ventral side can range from plain white or cream to a checkerboard pattern of black and white squares. The eastern garter snake, on the other hand, typically exhibits a more consistent checkerboard pattern on its underside. These subtle differences in coloration and pattern highlight the evolutionary divergence of these two snakes. While both utilize their markings for camouflage and predator avoidance, the eastern garter snake's more consistent appearance may reflect its adaptation to the specific visual environment of its eastern range. Section 5. Habitats and Homes the common and eastern garter snakes, while sharing a familial bond, exhibit distinct preferences when it comes to their choice of abode. These snakes, though similar in many ways, have evolved to thrive in different environments, showcasing the diversity of nature. The common garter snake, a master of adaptation, displays remarkable versatility in its habitat selection. This snake can be found in a variety of settings, each offering unique challenges and opportunities for survival. It can be found in a wide range of environments, including grasslands, forests, wetlands, and even urban areas. This ability to thrive in diverse habitats is a key factor in its widespread presence across different regions. This adaptability is a testament to the snake's resilience and ability to exploit a variety of resources. Whether it's blending into the underbrush of a forest or navigating the manicured lawns of a suburban garden, the common garter snake is a true survivor. The eastern garter snake, while also adaptable, tends to favor habitats with close proximity to water. This preference for wetter environments is a defining characteristic of the species. Wetlands, marshes, and the edges of ponds and lakes are among its preferred haunts. These areas not only provide the necessary moisture but also support a rich biodiversity that the eastern garter snake relies on. These environments provide the snake with ample cover from predators and access to a rich source of prey, such as amphibians, fish, and invertebrates. The abundance of food in these habitats ensures the snake's survival and reproductive success. Despite their differences in habitat preference, both snakes share a common need for shelter and basking sites. These spots are crucial for thermoregulation, allowing the snakes to maintain their body temperature. They seek refuge under rocks, logs, and vegetation, utilizing these sheltered spots to regulate their body temperature and avoid predators. These hiding places also offer protection during periods of inactivity or when digesting a meal. These shared habitat requirements highlight the fundamental ecological needs of these snakes, regardless of their specific preferences. 
Understanding these needs is essential for conservation efforts and habitat management. The adaptability of the common garter snake and the eastern garter snake's affinity for water underscore their ecological roles. Each species plays a unique part in their respective ecosystems, contributing to the overall health and balance of their environments. They play a vital part in maintaining the balance of their respective ecosystems, serving as both predator and prey in the intricate web of life. Their presence helps control the populations of their prey and provides food for their predators, illustrating the interconnectedness of all living things.